Hello, in the video coming up, I'll show you how you can now play games like Anno 2070 on Steam Beta on your Chromebook. It's pretty hard to imagine that you could play PC games on your Chromebook if you look back a few years ago. And the reason for that is that Chrome OS is an incredibly lightweight operating system. So it was never intentionally at the beginning created for stuff like gaming, but that has changed over the time. You've got Steam Cloud, Cloud Gaming, which works really well, such as Nvidia GeForce Now, but Steam has been working very closely with Google to bring local gaming to your Chromebook. And that has been trial and error, and it's still the case that it is trial and error. But I recently installed Steam Beta on my Chromebook. You do have to have a Chromebook that has a relative performance. It needs to be a pretty decent performing Chromebook, but the list is bigger now, and I will put a link in the article to the Chromebooks that are supported. And I did do a video also on how to install Steam Beta if you want to have a look at that. But this video, is I'm gonna show you that I've now installed Steam Beta, and I thought I'd try and install Anno 2070, and I wasn't 100% sure whether it would work. Like, I love Anno. If you've ever watched any of my other channels, don't get it wrong, this channel isn't all about gaming, it's about Chromebooks. But I do like Anno, the game series, and Anno 2070 is a few years old, but the graphics are quite advanced to an extent. It's not a shoot -em up style game, it's a more real-time strategy game, but the graphics are still pretty advanced, so I wasn't sure whether it would play locally, and I was quite happy that it did, so I thought I've got to do a video just to show you so I'm going to show you now how it looks so first of all I've got Steam installed so if I go down to the menu and then I've got Steam there so I'll just open up Steam I didn't have to change any of the Proton settings you might may have to do with some games but this just worked I installed it and it works there was no issues at all okay so I'll just quickly go to my library and Anno 2070 is this one here. I did try and install Anno 1404, which was created before Anno 2070, and it doesn't work. But Anno 2070 is more advanced. So I think more advanced games will work better because they're, they're coded more recently as well. So Anno 2070, and I installed it. To install it, it just takes a download. It took about three, four minutes to download, and I installed it and played it, and everything was okay. Um, so let's have a look now then. So it loads pretty quick as well. So this is Steam Beta. Just bring it up. Don't take too long to um, load. And let's connect to Ubisoft Connect. And as soon as it got to this stage, I was quite happy that at least it shows because on some games you just don't get nothing shown on the display. So it is really good. Um, and I think Steam Beta shows that it has advanced as well. And there you've got that as well. The thing you always get with uh, Steam, just press Shift and Tab. And you can just close that. That's all okay. And then you get to the main menu. So this, this isn't about showing you how to play Anno 2070. I just wanted to show you the sort of games you can now play locally on your Chromebook with Steam Beta. Uh, so I will just load up with a game. Um, let's just have a game there. Now, if you did see a few jaggedness there, like jagging on the screen, that isn't nothing to do with the game. This is a futuristic game, so you're supposed to be in a space station. So it's just how to have made the game. But if we load the game, and I have, it's, I've not played this game in many years. Well, when I say many years, about two years or something like that. So I did do a little map today because I wanted to see if there was any issues playing the game. And I didn't come across any issues at all. It, it, I'm, I'm really impressed. So as you can see, it's loading up pretty quickly. It loaded up the game. It loaded up the menu. No problems at all. Start mission. And here we are on the game. Um, it's a little map I've gone for. But as you can see, it's loading. There's no jerkiness whatsoever on the game. If you zoom in, you can see what I've done so far here. So this is essentially what this game is. There's two types you can be. You can be like the eco or you can be like the gas guzzling type player. And I've gone down the eco route. So everything about what I am is about saving the planet and the gas gas um, people who just like 
destroy the planet. We use gas, so they can have different tech. So they can be hard to challenge because they can have more technology than you do. But essentially, it's all about trading, building up your city. You go to war, you've got subs, you've got planes, you've got everything. The game is a great game, so I would definitely have a go. But it was more to show you, and when you look at the graphics, it's not too bad. But look how smooth it is. It, it's, it's, I, I'm quite impressed with it. And as you can see, I've got some here. These are building modules here for the game. And you need all these to build your houses here. And as you can see, we said 2070, everybody's just flying around rather than driving around. But it's pretty cool. I'm, I'm quite impressed that it works all okay. Um, and sort of really how the planet is going. A, a, a big part of this game is how you get enough energy to for your whole planet at the moment this is quite a small island as you can see i've got all this here so it's not an issue at the moment but for me because i'm on the eco side it's all about using energy that doesn't impact the environment which can make it more challenging but it's also what the game's about so it's pretty good but this game as you can see down here on the bottom here i've just started out with this one little island there's loads of islands you've got to explore and you can explore them on your little ship here but you can get loads of different ships and you can even have underwater cities in this game as you get on later on in the game which is great when you first ever do that you're like oh wow this is amazing an underwater city has different raw materials so it's all you need all that to advance and get onto the next level of, of, of your population but it's really just to show you that a few years ago the thought of playing games like this locally on your Chromebook that just work would be unheard of. And I, I'm using the Asus CX-5 Chromebook, which is quite an advanced Chromebook, but it's one of the lower advanced Chromebooks when we look at what you needed to play Steam Beta. So it's working fine. And I think this shows now that we are getting cloud gaming Chromebooks come out, but although they're cloud gaming Chromebooks, it doesn't mean they're just for playing games in the cloud. They, they will have better technology as well, like you get 120 hertz screen rate and everything like that, and you'll have a keyboard with the actual keys that are made for certain games and stuff with bright keys, so it shows the keys out. But they'll also have better processors, they'll have more RAM, they'll have more storage. So the fact that you can now start playing games, don't get me wrong, there's still a long way to go with playing all type of games on Steam Beta, of course there is because at the moment Chromebooks still don't have dedicated dedicated graphics cards so you wouldn't expect it to play all games but that's going to change in the future processors starting to have more better integrated graphic cards with them on the Chromebook so that will all change but this bearing in mind the Asus CX-5 yes it's a it's a recent but quite a powerful Chromebook it, it's only eight gigabyte of RAM and that might sound strange saying only eight gigabyte of RAM especially when I say you can do most things on a Chromebook with four gigabyte of RAM which is absolutely true but now that we've got local gaming on a Chromebook I think it shows there's, there's a good argument for in the future when you want to do local gaming that you would want to start looking at Chromebooks with 16 gigabyte of RAM and making sure they've got more storage decent SSD storage so it's really good and when you consider the graphics there's a lot of detail in there like you can see it's moving around that wind palm there and there's little red flashing lights on there as well if you can see that so there is a lot of detail and it's running it perfectly fine there's no problems at all and this is just these are making tea for my civilization there but it, it's, it's pretty impressive. I, I'm, I'm not, you can usually tell if a game is a bit buggy or it's not going to perform very well. And as soon as I loaded this up, I was like, oh, wow. There was nothing what made me think, mm, this is going to be a problem. Just loaded up. No issues with the menu. No issues with the gameplay. Absolute no problem whatsoever. So I think this sort of shows, before this, the only game I really played on local on my Chromebook that worked well was prison architect and that's more like south park style graphics so wasn't you'd expect it to run and it was coded for linux anyway whereas this game wasn't originally coded for linux so this is using the steam compatibility tool that they've been working on with the steam beta so it shows it's actually working which is great um it it, it just shows that in the future 
there'll be more games that we can start playing locally on our Chromebooks. And it essentially means um, Chromebooks are again getting to that stage where there's nothing holding them back to what you get on a Microsoft Windows computer, for example. Yeah, sure, there's still things like video editing, but you can do video editing on a Chromebook, uh, but it's not as, we're not there just yet, but we, I'm sure we will be in the future. And games, if we, if we said a few years ago, we say, oh, it's, it's not there, but we're getting there and it's great. So I would definitely recommend giving Steam Beta a try if you like to play games and just have a go. And I think the fact that just a game with these sort of graphics is playing locally on my Chromebook just shows that Steam and Google are heading in the right direction with Steam Beta. So imagine where it will be when it's out of beta and it's even more stable. There'll be a lot more games you can play. I'm sure even in the future as well, developers will start to think about the fact that a lot of people who are playing games are using a Chromebook. So there'll be so many things going on in the future that will just mean there'll be more games we can play locally on our Chromebooks. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like below and subscribe to the channel for future videos. And thanks for watching.